Hello, everyone. Um, this is Prophetess Lou. This is the mini version of Chasing a Pure Heart. Um, we're going to do a quick word of prayer, and then we're going to go on with the devotional. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you for life, health, and strength. Father God, we ask you to bless the listeners. We ask you to bless the readers. Father God, we ask you to continue to show us what you want to show us. We ask you to continue to be with us. Father God, we ask you to guide us. We ask you to help us to understand everything you're trying to show us, whether we're reading the word or partaking in this devotional. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. So the verse of the day is Matthew 5, 7, 8. Blessed are the merciful, for these shall receive mercy. Blessed are the pure heart, for they shall see God. Matthew 7 and 8. Subject, chasing a pure heart. Affirmations, I'm relying on God. I am humble. I'm drawing near to God. I am a prayer warrior. I said those slow enough for you to say behind me if you like. Thoughts, what is pure in heart? What does it mean? Can we obtain a pure heart? What does the Bible say? In this devotion, the Holy Spirit will answer all these questions. Just because someone is a Christian doesn't mean they are pure in heart. We don't get this title just because we follow Christ. Pure heart means to be clean, blameless, sustained from guilt. We as believers must always look at our hearts. We must always ask God to purify us and to refine us. The Bible speaks about a pure heart in 1 Timothy 1 and 5. The aim of our charge is love that issues from a pure heart and a good conscience and a sincere faith. Sincere faith. In order to have a pure heart, we must first be dedicated to God. A lot of times what happens is we are dedicated to God. We are dedicated to the ideal of God in the blessings, in the routine of things. But as far as us changing, we don't want to do that. Step one to have a pure heart is devotion to God. It's not hard to do. King Solomon was dedicated to God and he let his many wives, lust and everything else, change them. He was the same person who wanted nothing but wisdom. Things and people can change people, but it's up to us to stay true to our identity in Christ. The second step to pure heart is having clean hands. We must care about what we do with our temple and what we look at. And the Bible speaks about having clean hands. In Psalms 24 and 4, he who has clean hands and a pure heart, who does not lift up his soul to what is false and does not swear deceitfully. It says it here, those who diff doesn't lift their hands to what is false. This is even for people that worship idols and such. In our day and time, we might not have gold statues, but we have phones, TVs, and such to bow down to. We spend countless of hours slipping through the channel or playing video games, but some still don't lift up the name of God. Why? Because people focus on people's focus are lost on uh, on other things the third step to a pure heart is not having a double mind the book of james tells us not to have a double mind this is someone that one day is for god and the next day isn't we must know what we desire and what we want and if we want a devoted relationship with god with a pure heart we have to choose him we must be humble and know that he is how we develop this is how we develop a pure heart we can't do it alone James 4 and 8, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Some say those who do the work of God are pure. I feel that it depends on the person. It depends on who they want to be and who do we choose to be. Do we choose to be people that follow God or do we choose to be people that follow God with a pure heart? We have to be careful saying only a certain margin of people have purity. Because let's be honest, we all have seen people who try to do the works of God and their intent or motives for the uplifting of God's kingdom is not a, it's not what it's supposed to be. It's lined with their pockets with money or to have control. What we can see in the devotions that people who are pure in heart desire to be of God. They desire to have clean hands and hearts and they desire to please God and they choose him every day. Who do you choose? In order to have a pure heart, it has to be us saying we want to be refined like pure gold by God. It's saying I stand through whatever he put me through to be pure in heart. Are you willing to do this? Are you willing to change? Today, we learn three important things. Step one, have a pure heart is devotion to God. Step two is, is the pure heart is having clean hands. Step three is a pure heart is not having a double mind. We have to be ready to commit. A lot of us have a hard time to committing because that means showing up. That means letting go of our agenda and staying connected to the power source. Today, ask God if you haven't already how to get a pure heart and he will direct you and cover you in his blood as you embark on your walk with Christ and pursuing a pure heart. 
prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for every day. We thank you for always giving us what we need right now. We give our heart to you to help us develop a pure heart in you. Lord, we desire to make you happy. Lord, we can't do this on our own. We rely on you with for everything. We, we rely on you to keep us focused on you. Lord, we give you our body to cleanse. Lord, we thank you for allowing us to read your word. Please give us wisdom and knowledge. Please give us more of you. Lord, we are grateful and humble in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Reference, 1 Peter 1, 22, having purified your soul by your obedience to the truth of a sincere brotherly love, love one another earnestly from a pure heart. 1 Peter 1, 22. Psalms 1, 19, 11, I have stored up your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Psalms 1, 19, and 11. Psalms 1, 19, and 9, how can a young man keep his way pure? By guarding it according to your word. Psalms 1, 19, and 9. Further reading, 1 Chronicles 30, 1 through 31 and 21, Romans 15, 1 through 22, Psalms 25, 1 through 15, Proverbs 20, 13 and 15. This ends the devotional of chasing a pure heart. This is the mini version to the extended one for 25 minutes. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, Jesus loves you. I love you too. Have a blessed day. Thank you.